everybody, it's Viper GTS. Perfect summer day out here today, very nice and bright. But let's take a look at this menu number nine, which is pork chow mein. This should be between a 93 and a 96. This menu did run from 1993 all the way up to 2000, and it did change menu numbers twice. Um, in 1997, it went to menu number 17, and then in 1999, it went to menu number 22, and it was eventually replaced in 2001 by the beef teriyaki. This should have the FRH in it since the first year of the FRH was 93-94. So let's open it up and take a look. And we have pork chow mein, date code 5282, so this is going to be a 95. Accessory pack C. Red Taster's Choice, oh boy. Old school FRH with the cardboard bottom. Doubt that's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Peanut butter. Beverage base cherry. Pack of crackers. Cookie bar chocolate covered, that's gonna be good. And here's the chow mein noodles, spoon, and the last is a very sticky, liquidy pack, squishy, charms candies. And the accessory pack contains all the usual stuff, coffee, sugar, salt, Tabasco, color looks good, cream substitute non-dairy, toilet paper napkins, peppermint gum, some matches, and a wet net. And we gotta check if this FRH fires up, I doubt it, but gotta try, let's see. There's charms all over this thing. We're gonna do the salt trick too. A little bit of water. Something tells me this is not gonna fire. The little, uh, the black contents are all over the place. See, look at it. Give it a try. And the cherry drink. That looks fine. Check this out too. See if it's any good. No, sir. Nice and moldy. No coffee today and no heat on the FRH, so plan B. While the main's heating up, let's have some crackers and peanut butter. Perfect condition. A bit soft, let's see. Yeah, normal stale flavor, but they're fine. Gave this a good mix too, so we should be all set. Looks perfect. Now let's see what these noodles are about. <laughs> All right, look at that. Let's try one by themselves. Tastes a bit like sawdust, but it'll add some texture to the main. And last is that cookie bar. This is going to be awesome. It's pretty hot out today, so this might be a little melty. Yeah, a little bit. 
Let's stick that in the fridge for a second. The main's off the boil, so let's see what we got here. Oh, quite a bit liquidier than I figured it was going to be. Hmm. All right. Let's take a closer look. So you can see the small pieces of pork in there. It looks like some mushrooms, some water chestnuts, and uh, celery. And then up here we have those chow mein noodles. They're very plain, but they're going to add a nice texture. All right, so we're going to put some of the chow mein noodles on this side. And then just try this by itself. I don't like mushrooms, but the rest is just fine. And the pieces of pork are very, very small. The flavor's okay, but... You know, it tastes nothing like the real thing, of course, and the level of salt is just so over the top that it makes it close to unedible how salty it is. Let's try a bit with the uh, chow mein noodles. The crunch factor is good, but doesn't add any flavor to it. Oh, here's a uh, water chestnut. Let's see if they're still crunchy. Yeah, they still have good texture, still crunchy. All right. So even though this isn't that great, I'm going to finish it up and let's grab that cookie out of the fridge. And here's the cookie bar, chocolate covered. That looks nice. Nice and shiny. Looks perfect inside too. That's the real treat of this thing. That makes up for the saltiness of this. They should still make this. So I hope you enjoyed watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.